Hello YouTube, this is Fantasy Waifu Collector, the May update, which I'm calling the Ratman's Horde update because there are rats and a lot of other things. Under quests, I've added rats for the urgent, I've actually changed it to rats. So, instead of fighting the uh, boss dragon lady every time, um, we've got five rats in the basement. Well, <laughs> I haven't changed the background yet, but yes, there are rats, five of them, with a big ratman king, and uh, some smaller rats. Isn't that neat? Let's see how the team does here. Knock down one, knock down two. Looks like we're doing pretty good. Each of these rats inflicts uh, plague but it wears off pretty quick. Because this is a uh, this is a low level quest. It shouldn't be that difficult. And King gets knocked out. Awesome. We did it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, there's also a bunch of new textures. Um, and a lot of these assets, a lot of placeholder assets have been replaced. Most evident is on the character screen. You can see like some cleaner icons. Uh, I need to replace this all icon, but all the other ones are replaced. So yes, cool stuff, right? Under the character themselves, there's a, the status bad icons have changed little dollar sign showing that oh you can buy an upgrade from the store cool 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 and uh, the nature icons and then there should be one of these yeah this one needs an upgrade that's cool after that we got let's see the war bands there have been a few bug fixes in here and it now starts out completely zoomed out because you can zoom in Hey, looks like someone took the Demon Lord Castle, and someone's about to cause some trouble there. And these little E icons, they show that there's enemies. So you can see that these people have taken this cleared out path straight to the Demon Lord Castle. Clicking on here, we can see, oh, nuke. The nuke team going up against level 73. Let's attack them. And let's lose, because <laughs> they're too strong for this team. Uh oh Failed to achieve victory. Uh, so Nuke is going to be stuck there. Uh, if they could only go over one space, then they could follow this trail. Um, trash isn't going to do anything, and neither is grass. <laughs> yes. Good stuff, right? Next we have a... Marketplace. So, uh, the Warband Marketplace has been added, and these are like the highest level things. So, if you manage to get 100,000 points, then you can get a high, high tier piece of equipment. Well, also added the ability to mix different types of items. So, well, items, consumables, and equipments can be within the same category now so uh, can create these mixed stores I guess crystal so store will be similar where you can use crystals to buy stuff um, these icons I I'm gonna change them <laughs> they're still placeholder I replaced most of the placeholder but we still got a few to change <clears throat> cool 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 there have been uh, uh, maybe I need to log out and show you the banners because those are cool. Oh wait, I got I got mail. Awesome. Thanks for the mail. Alright, so uh also <laughs> little milestone here. I finally got enough ban uh, enough bulletins to fill the entire screen. <laughs> Yay! Alright, um, 
notice that, oh, this character is a little bit smaller now, right? <laughs> yeah, everyone is different height. I've added heights. That was like two lines of code, believe it or not. Maybe I got mail too. Oh, PvP rank one, that's right. I am a threat in the arena. So, new banner. There is the equipment banner, which, well, it is what it is. You get equipment. Uh, there's a, everything is weighted. You can get equipment, magical stones, and ore. The ore you get will be at your hunter rank. Then we have this solar spirit banner. This requires the maximum castle upgrade in order to unlock, and when you roll on it, you get shards, oh boy, but there's also a chance to actually get a spirit or solar uh, waifu. The, uh, the shard numbers are weighted as well, um, it's a lower chance to get these tens, so this is actually kind of lucky. The ones are pretty standard, and then the five is, eh, it's alright. Uh, you know what? Let me push this, see if I can get a, get one. Nope. Nope. And... Oh, we got one. We are lucky. So, cool. We have just successfully got a solar waifu. Um, also, notice the little updated things there. Cool. Yes. Yes, I am quite unprepared, and I am glad I met you. Awesome. Let's go check her out. So, this uh, has purity, but as you see, see, I've been working on other ones, and you can finally use her to start up. Yes. So, solar and spirit characters are meant for endgame, and this account is at endgame. So it's going to take a while to fully uh, equip and level them up. Oh, we got an upgrade. Nice. All right. Let's see. There's been uh, uh, the farm output has been increased, and then even better is uh, oh, dash! Oh, the the banners. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the banners can go off the screen, but they can scroll now. Awesome. It's also Lazy Cat Sunday that I'm recording this on. Oh, we got a free banner. Let's see who we got. Uh, we got a Knight of the Redstone. 135. That's pretty good power. I may uh, keep that one. Yes. Alright. Um, do I have a mining quest to show you? I do! So... Uh, this was a last minute change, but, um, so this board will slide in, and I need to make it, I don't know, <laughs> I need to make it actually stop, but for now, it's good for now. Uh, I replaced the board itself, um, with uh, the texture graphic, I'm not gonna play through this, I will take the failure. The... Adoption quest. Oh, yes. Uh, for the teams, um, I can show this now, too. Uh, if a team is all of the same nature, the little icon will appear on the team itself. So, here we go. With, like, a little texture background as well. And then a big giant number for the selected team. Isn't that cool? Yes. Okay, adoption. Uh. I want to use my rehab cats. So on this, the I've changed the cat health to match the quest level instead of hard coded values. So the amount required um, is actually going to be based on the quest level. So a maximum level 200 ad adoption quest is going to require, I think, like 410. Um, granted, that's the highest level, so it's going to be a big number. And then it's going to, going to require a higher attack value in order to tame a cat. Uh, let's see what we got here. So I can go. Boom. Uh, these numbers now 
actually show the attack values. Um, when a cat is tamed, or it's like the total total power per, per attack, and it's a uh, it gets reduced per cat. Uh, that's how it's calculated in order to tame it. So if I clear out one. 732, so it tamed like five cats. Isn't that cool? Um, I don't even remember the math behind it, but it works. Then, if we have a big one, big numbers. I like looking at numbers, and you can see numbers. I like it. <laughs> I don't know if you like it. Cool. Alright, we're going to fail that one. And then, the other big update here, um, did I say that the marketplace for Warband and Crystals refreshes monthly? Because it does. So I've cleared out the store, I've spent everything, and next week when this will refresh, as well as like all the point calculations. Okay, so... We need to show the offline mode. Say you want to play this game, but you don't want to make an account. Uh, you don't want to play online, or uh, you just you just want to play the game. Have you ever heard of a gotcha game that's offline? Well, this one can be played offline because you can actually play it. The only thing is, the online features are not going to be accessible. So, if you hover over these, it's going to be online only, then online only. So these will never be accessible because, I mean, you're not online. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to click there. Sure, we got some trash. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. This is completely offline. Oh my goodness. Just, just, just build. Sure. Sure, sure, yes, yes, collect. I'm speedrunning, awesome. Oh my goodness, just, whoops, okay. So, oh my goodness, go away. <laughs> so when, uh, when playing online, in the bottom right corner, there's usually a connection uh, graphic that'll appear. Um, since there's no connection, there's not going to be an icon. This is all completely offline. And so, it, it actually runs better because, or, it runs, like, faster because it's not communicating with the server. Uh, you know what, let's see what we'll get. Wait, I need to... Do that. There we go. Alright. Let's see what we get. I'm just curious. Okay. So yeah, uh, again the icons. Awesome. Hey, we got another trash jam. Cool. Yes. I think it should be obvious uh, to say that the uh, since this is offline, then uh, it's saved locally. All the data is saved locally. So if you log into another account, then, uh, well, I mean... It's going to be a different offline account. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. I think that is everything for the May updates. Tried to go through this nice and fast. I think I covered everything. Um, make sure you join the Discord. And uh, if you could like and subscribe, this helps visibility. Because we're about, what, six months away from um, putting this on Steam as beta. And the more exposure this gets, well, yeah, that would be cool. The more people that can play it. Alright, thanks for watching.